New at 5, we are hearing firsthand accounts of the brazen attack on two Vegas, Las Vegas workers at Red Rock Casino. Those two casino workers were stabbed and a man has been arrested in the case, but it's the new audio that tells the whole story. Fox 5's Sean Dowling has more on the 911 calls just released by Metro. Yeah, well, John, Kim, this is the suspect right next to me. And one of those calls came from a man who hid underneath a table for cover as he dialed into 911 for help. The other from a woman who went to check on her friends at the moment shots rang out. And they weren't the only ones calling in. Police telling us here at Fox 5, multiple 911 calls came in shortly after 1 a.m. on August 3rd from the casino floor. However, police say most callers were phoning police about a shooting. They didn't even know of the stabbing. It was 20 minutes later when police finally learned two people had been stabbed. 25-year-old Shane Sussman is accused of stabbing the two workers before he was shot by security. The arrest report states it appears the attack on the employees was unprovoked after being approached from behind by the suspect. As for those chilling 911 calls, this is the moment one man dialed in underneath a table and another woman ran back inside to check on her friends who were still inside. 911 emergency. I believe I heard either a firework or a gunshot go off in Red Rock Casino. Do you know if anybody's injured? Uh, I do not. I'm just under the table. Some other people are laying behind the chairs. Not over here. 911 emergency. 19740. Police, fire, medical. What's going on? Where are you at? My friends are headed out of the Red Rock um, Casino and I was leaving on the phone with her and she screamed that shots were fired and I'm running back inside. And the operator made sure to guide that caller to safety. And several other calls were released today from Metro PD as well. And Metro is using them to piece together what happened. Again, here is another look at the man authorities say caused all of this. John. Sean, thanks. And as for that suspect in the stabbing, Shane Sussman, no bail for him as of yet. And his next court hearing is set for August 19th.